Alrighty friends, so welcome back to our phonics part of the day. So today we're going to, of course, work on our letters and sounds. We're also going to work on our make-believe words. We're going to work on our vowels. We'll also practice our sight words. We'll do some phoneme seg and blendy. And then we'll also read an informational text today on a zoo. All right, so with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. So yesterday we started with um, letter and sound. So today we will do sound first. So here we go. X, -k -x good job. Y, Y, Z. Z, B, B, K, C, N, N, J, J, A, A, G, G, D, D, E, E, S, S, T, T, M, M, F, R, R, H, W, W, P, P, Q, U, U, V, I, I, K, K, O, O, Good job, friends. All right, so now let's go ahead and do our vowels. And friends, how many vowels are there? Mm -hmm. There are five vowels. And how many sounds does each vowel have? Mm -hmm. Two. And what are they? A, A, E, E, I, I, O, A, U, U. And let's go ahead and do fist in the air. And remember, we're going to start off with the big fist. So, big fist. Louder, louder, faster, faster. Ah! All right, so here we go. A, I, O, U. A little bit louder. A, E, I, O, U. A little bit louder. A, E, I, O, U. A little bit louder. A, E, I, O, U. Now we do it louder and faster. A, I, O, U. A, I, O, U. A, I, O, U. Very, very good. So do not forget your vowels, friends. All right. Let's go ahead and do our sight words. Okay, really, really quickly, quick review, friends. The TH makes what sound? Okay, what sound? Good job. So this is with. Ooh, remember this one. This is the Y, and that bandit came around, and he made this Y sound like a. I. So this word is m i m i. Good job. Me and come like two. Oh, ooh, and two is in the month of October. I the c a. We. Good job, friends. All right. Let's go ahead and do our make-believe words, otherwise known as nonsense words. All right. So here we go. Okay. V, I, M, Vim. B, A, G, I, M, Gim. S, 
a b sub as taz or as laz n a k nuk j a k jack b f bef e r fur m a z maz d a c dodge z up zop m i v miv w i k wick uff uff j i f jif this is a hard one let's do this i d id t a f t a f e m hem x x i k i k d a dog and remember friends that when we do our nonsense words or make believe words it is always a consonant a vowel and a consonant. So I want you to look at this one. Consonant, vowel, consonant. Let's see if it's true on this one. Consonant, vowel, consonant. So there you go. Each time when we do our make-believe words, it will always be a consonant, vowel, consonant. Okay. Alrighty, friends, let's go ahead and do our segmenting and blending, but hold on guys, I have to get my magic book. Oh, and my magic book is pretty heavy. All right, so over here, friends, I have, let me move my camera. Hold on. So over here, I have some picture cards. Okay, see them okay? All right, so I'm going to, I want you to listen to my word. Okay, I'm going to take it apart and then I want you to put it back together. So here we go. N, N. Pen. Very, very good. Good job. All right, let's go to the next one. P in. P in. Pin. Good job, friends. All right. Listen to this next one. Y am. Y am. Yam. Good job. Okay, let's go with this one. Mm, and, mm, and, van, good job, b, at, b, at, back, excellent, all right, so now, um, you're going to say, I'm going to tell you a word, and you will say the word in to parts. Okay, so listen. I'm going to tell you the word. The word is back. So I want you to tell me the word in two parts. Okay, back. B, ack. Good job. All right. Dash. D, ash. Hmm? Heel. <coughs> Heel. Eel. Set, at, fig, egg, knock, n, ock. Good job, friends. That was wonderful. All right, so let's go ahead and I'm going to introduce to you the informational text story that we're going to read today. 
right? And this is called Fort Worth Zoo. Okay. Fort Worth Zoo. Now, I'm trying to position myself. Right? So I'm going to read it and then I'll show you the picture. But really quickly, before I do that, right here, friends. I don't know if you can really see it, but it's highlighted. And that is a sight word. What sight word is that? We. All right. So this is called Fort Worth Zoo. We love the Fort Worth Zoo. So who loves the Fort Worth Zoo? The rhinos? No. The two little girls. Have you guys ever been to the zoo? What do you see there? Yeah, lots and lots of animals. Come see the parrot. Look at its bright colors. So there's a parrot. And right here, friends, right there, that word reads parrot. And look at the vibrant colors on that parrot. What colors do you see? Yeah, I see some green. <sighs> Definitely red. Yeah, I see white. Black. Mm -hmm. Do you happen to see this color right here? What color is that? Yeah, that's blue. Oh, and look at, look at its talons. See that? Yeah. Beautiful bird. Sometimes parrots say, Polly, want a cracker? Ah. Mm -hmm. We can see sun bears scratch. They are the smallest kinds of bears. So these are the sun bears. Yeah, you see right here, it tells us that this is called Asian Falls. Okay, so this is probably the name of the part of where the sun bears are at the zoo. Oh my goodness, friends, look at, look at their claws. Whoa, they've got some pretty sharp looking claws there. And these sun bears are the smallest bears. Yeah, look at their faces. They kind of look like, I would say, kind of like a dog. What do you think? Yeah, his face is kind of like a dog. Or her face, I'm not sure. See the rhino eating hay. You'll never get close to one. Why do you think you won't ever get close to a rhino? Oh, oh, yeah, friends, it might chase us. And it's got two horns. See that? One, two. And right here, it says rhinoceros. And up here, it says African savanna. So the rhinoceros comes from the African savanna. So I guess the bears, it means the bears came from Asian Falls. And look, so he's eating, what did they say? Hey, yeah. Have you ever seen a rhinoceros? What color are they? Well, yeah, some might think that they're gray. And then some might think that they're brown. But I believe, I think, I think they're really gray. But sometimes they look brown because they um, like to get into mud because the mud cools them off. So when their skin, when they're drenched in the mud, their skin turns like a brown color. I think they're gray. I'll have to look that up and make sure I tell you correctly. Okay. Look at all the penguins. Watch them flap their fins. So here are the penguins. And it says, watch them flap their fins. Why do you think it says that? Well, have you?
Have you ever seen a penguin fly? Nope. Have you ever seen a penguin swim? Yep, I have. And you know what? Animals that are in the water, they have fins. They don't have wings, right? And that says penguins. Yep, and look, some of them, well, most of them, look, they have spots. I've never seen a penguin with spots. And look right in the middle, you see how there's like these circles, like right here? It almost looks like someone came and painted that black on them, but they did it. That's just the way they are. And these are called black footed penguins because a lot of the penguins, when you draw penguins that we've seen, their feet are orange. Well, not these. These are black feet and spots. Yeah. Meet some Komodo dragons. They are the largest lizards on earth. Ooh, look at these. These are the Komodo dragons. Oh, look, they almost look like Kind of like a small alligator, sort of. See that? Even their skin looks kind of like rough, just like an alligator or a crocodile. Yeah. And they are the largest lizards. Komodo dragons. That's what that says right there. Komodo dragons. Oh. Oh, look at Look at its, oh, look at its, I would call these, I don't know, would we call those claws or would we call those talons? They're pretty sharp if you ask me. I'll have to look that up and then I'll have to tell you guys what we call them. Or can we call them nails? I'll find out and let you know. But they're pretty sharp. I wouldn't want one of those chasing me. Oh, no, I'd be like, ah, right? Do you want to see some snakes? You can see different animals at the zoo. And this says Texas wild, right? And in this cave, there's a cave there that annulata tree boa lives in there. Look at that sneaky yikes. What color is it? Yeah, it's a brown one. It's a boa snake, so that means it's a pretty big snake. Oh, I wouldn't want to get around that one. And what do snakes eat? They eat mice. All righty, friends, that is it. And remember I said that today for ELA, it's show and tell. So please make sure that you bring show and tell. It's because it's our last day together before we have all break, right? And some of you, We'll be coming back to class, to not class, but to school. So you'll be in different classes. And then some of you will stay with me remotely. And a few of you are going to go to a new school. But remember, though, that even though we're apart, we're still family. Okay? Because we... Um, we built that bond. <laughs> Sorry, friends, but I will miss you. Those of you that are leaving, I will miss you because you are my family. And Mrs. Harrow loves you all very much. Okay? And I'll forever be in your heart. And remember that when something gets hard when you're in school, don't give up. You have to keep trying and trying until you get it. 
because if you give up, what happens? You'll never do it. All right. So um, don't forget to bring your show and tell. I have mine and I can hardly wait to show it to you guys. All right. See you later. Bye, friends.